John, noting everything that you've said about the concerns expressed by the U.S. about uh, the risk to Palestinians in Gaza with a full-scale operation, is the U.S. still aligned with Israel in its intention to eliminate the terrorist threat posed by Hamas? Of course. And is there any um, feeling that Hamas may be trying to trick uh, the public in some way? You heard Israeli officials um, commenting on this latest proposal as, as a trick, and there's been a lot of pressure to Go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm just, go ahead, sorry. I'm listening. Well, there's, there's been, you know, pressure um, on the administration <coughs> to make sure that the needs of Palestinians are, are being um, served and that the U.S. support for Israel isn't, you know, overhanded. And you had the, the report come out earlier today or maybe yesterday that the U.S. was potentially weighing um, withholding an arms shipment to Israel. Is there any concern that Hamas was trying to capitalize on that public pressure and, you know, play a trick, as Israeli <laughs> officials put it. I mean, I, I don't think there's any possible way I could answer that question unless I got between the ears of Mr. Sinwar, and that's a place I really don't want to be. I think that is a great question for him. You know, it, it's interesting. I stand up here and answer questions. Kareem does. Matt Miller at the State Department. Pentagon colleagues. The President does. Prime Minister Netanyahu does, and the IDF military spokesman does. You know who hasn't answered a single question about his intentions and what games he might be playing or where he intends to take this? Mr. Sinwar, the head of Hamas. And I think it's, a, I think it's high time that he answers some of these questions and he come clean about what his intentions are. I don't know. All I know is we've got a response. Bill Burns is looking at that response. He's talking to the Israelis about it. And we'll see where this goes. Hopefully, hopefully. Whatever's in this thing, hopefully it can lead to those hostages getting out real, real soon with their families uh, where they need to be. And as each, new, as each day passes, their lives get further at risk. So time is really of the essence here. Well, noting your answer, is it still a good idea to try to negotiate with terrorists then? It's, it's, not, it, it's, not like, uh, it's not like we sit down pie in the sky and say, hey, today's a good day. Let's negotiate with terrorists. You, you got to negotiate with who you got to negotiate to get people back with their families. So, frankly, if, you, if there's a better idea to get those hostages home with their families, I think we'd love to hear them. I just don't think there's another way to do it. There's no other way to do it, quite frankly. You got to negotiate through Qatar with Hamas to get those folks back with their families. I mean, is, does, you know, that's the hard work of diplomacy. You know, sometimes it means you got to sit across the table from some really bad folks that you'd rather not have to talk to. But they got those hostages and we want them back. The U.S. backs Israel's intention to eliminate Hamas. We, of course, back their uh, uh, right responsibility to go after the Hamas threat, to eliminate that threat. Now, look, Jackie, I've said many times here, you, you, you're not going to eliminate an ideology through military operations. But does Israel have a right and responsibility to eliminate a threat that they suffered on the 7th of October? 100 percent, absolutely they do. And we've been nothing but, but, uh, but very steadfast on that.